Hello, in this video I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to diagnose and potentially resolve your E4 error code on a Midia air source heat pump. So E4 essentially just means that the um, temperature probe that's supposed to be measuring the temperature of the domestic hot water cylinder has gone to open or short circuit. So either disconnect or not connected properly or that kind of stuff. Um, if you are not heating a domestic hot water cylinder, then you obviously don't need that, that temperature sensor. So it would just be a case of disabling the domestic hot water function on the remote controller, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So you want to press OK. Oh, unlock first. You're going to press OK to clear off the error code for a sec. You're going to want to go to menu, scroll all the way down to for service man, type the passcode in which is 234. So you're going to want to go into number one DHW mode setting and then 1.1 DHW mode. If you're not heating a cylinder you're going to want to change this to non, but we are heating a cylinder so we're going to leave that as yes. And then you're going to want to active the settings and exit. Now if you are heating a cylinder and your temperature probe is there, um, you're going to want to check its connection. So the probe end is obviously going in the cylinder. And then the actual sensor itself will plug into this black fly lead which sort of runs down the side of the PCB and underneath. And then from this uh, fly lead plug it's going to go up to here, as you can see, I've unplugged it, but it goes in this white plug connector 13, which should be labeled T5. T5 is our domestic hot water sensor. So I'll plug that in now. Our error code is gone. Now, if you've got good connection here and a good connection here, you're probably going to want to check the resistance reading of the temperature sensor itself. So I'm just going to unplug that from the board again. I'm going to grab our multimeter. You're going to want to set this to your resistance setting or ohms. And you're going to want to pop this across the cylinder temperature sensor. Now, at a 20 degree ambient or 20 degree cylinder temperature, you should be reading somewhere in the order of about 60 kilo ohms, which when I make a good connection, you can see there we go, 63.8 kilo ohms now that I've made a good connection. So we know the probe end of our sensor is fine. Um, if you need the full resistance characteristics chart of that sensor, let us know and we'll be happy to send it over to you. But yeah, if you've got um, so essentially, if the, if the resistance reading of the sensor is in range, you've got really good connection here, really good connection here, and you know, you've got no breaks in the cable all the way up to the cylinder, then it's possible that maybe the soldered joint on the PCB where this plugs into might be cracked or partially broken. So um, if you're skilled with a soldering iron, you could potentially repair that yourself or it would be a case of getting a new um, hydronic module PCB.